Hi there, this is Bill Prankard. And once again, I just want to speak blessing and life over you. Just take a couple of minutes of your time and just encourage you today. You need to be encouraged. I mean, God loves you. He cares about you. Bible says Jesus is praying for you today. He says, when you invite him in, all the power of God comes in you. Holy Spirit is God. He lives with inside of you. Your body's the temple of the Holy Spirit. And angels are surrounding you. I mean, that's a lot of reason to be encouraged. But one thing I've noticed is people lack vision and purpose. If there's, if there's something lacking in the church that I see in North America, many times they're just trying to maintain what visionaries have started and they're struggling to just keep things going. And, and that's never, ever been the purpose. And, and I, I think you have to remember, whether it's a, a, an individual, whether it's a company, a business, whether it's a church or whether it's a nation, you have to remember where we've come from to understand why we're here and to know where we need to be going. On our parliament buildings, engraved in stone, is words of scripture. There's a lot of it, actually, but one of the verses says, He shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. That's found in Psalm 72, 8. That's our founding scripture. Uh, Tilly, Sir Leonard Tilly, the premier of New Brunswick, he brought that scripture one morning to the men that became the fathers of confederation when they were founding this nation. He said it describes the nation, sea to sea, river to the ends of the earth, the Arctic, and also describes the purpose. The vision is written on our parliament buildings. The vision of this nation wasn't just that it'd be a good nation, but it'd be a nation where he would have dominion. If he's going to have dominion, then believers are going to have to take dominion over the stuff that needs to have dominion taken over. On the other side of the Peace Tower at the Parliament buildings is the scripture, without a vision, people perish. When you forget the vision, you don't have purpose. I love to be around people of vision. I mean, you, they walk different, they talk different, they've got fire in their eyes, they've got passion, because vision brings passion. The Bible says that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you get all of that. You get all of that. When the power of God comes upon you, Jesus said, then you're going to get a, a vision for the world and a purpose for being here. And, and you'll be my witnesses throughout the world to the ends of the earth. And so today, I want you to know that you have a purpose. And in order to realize that purpose, you have to know where you've come from. What are the roots? And why is this nation here? Why is that church there? Um, you know, we were just talking a couple of people who, who what one church, Maydock, Ontario. It's got a great church there now. It's in eastern Ontario. The pastor, that dear friend of mine that just went to be with Jesus, he started that church a long time ago. He preached six months in the Orange Hall there without one person coming. Every week he would have a service and he would have a full service. He'd preach, he'd sing, he'd do the whole thing. And uh, for six months, every Saturday, he would go down to that hall and he would pray for six hours every Saturday for Madoc, for that community. People in that church have to know where they've come from. Why people are coming to Jesus today is because somebody paid a price. There's a purpose for you being here. You've got a purpose. And so ask God to show you today where you've come from, why you're here and where you're going. And you are going to have a great day. God bless you.